Hi, today we're going to talk about Anchor, which is the 92nd largest cryptocurrency in terms of market cap. We are looking at a bit less than a billion dollars in market cap. And Anchor recently is pumping quite a lot, as a lot of altcoins recently do. And the question is, is this pump going to last? Is it too late to jump on the train? What does the technical analysis say? Now on this channel, I'm not going to discuss any fundamentals, right? You need to do your own fundamental research for any altcoin that you invest in. But what I can contribute to the discussion are statistics, are numbers, technical indicators. And hopefully this kind of information helps you to fine tune your timing of the market and maybe also to set your risk levels, your stop losses, things like that. And so when it comes to the concrete execution of trades, technical analysis obviously can help. Now what you see over here is the anchor to US dollar chart or anchor to tether chart. And here we zoom into the recent pump. We are looking at an 80% increase within only 12 days. Now that's definitely very massive. That's very interesting. It looks like we are currently in an altcoin season almost, in another revived altcoin season. One way to determine if it makes sense in general to trade altcoins or not is to look at Ethereum. So a lot of people, they just use Bitcoin to gauge, are we in a bull market? Are we in a bear market? Does it make sense to trade altcoins? But I think a better gauge is actually Ethereum. If you look at the correlation between Bitcoin and certain altcoins and Ethereum and certain altcoins. So this is just a more or less random selection of altcoins, Cardano, Chili, CRV, Polkadot, Chainlink, Tron, XRP, and Quant. If you look at how those altcoins correlate to those two major coins, Bitcoin and Ethereum, you find that the correlation coefficient between Ethereum and the altcoin typically is higher than between Bitcoin and the altcoin. So these are correlation coefficients based on daily returns. So quick recap, what does correlation mean? It means how much do two assets move in tandem to one another, right? So if the correlation coefficient is at one, this means the asset moves exactly one on one like the other asset. If it's at minus one, it means the assets move exactly in opposite direction all the time. So the closer we go to one, the more they move in the same direction. And so we can see altcoins typically, they move closer with Ethereum than with Bitcoin. So it actually makes sense to rather look at Ethereum to determine, does it make sense to be in altcoins? Yes or no. Now, obviously it's not that straightforward to find that out, right? Will Ethereum rise or fall in price? If I knew the perfect answer to this, I'd be richer than Warren Buffett. But there are certain approaches that I think work quite well to look at Ethereum's trends. Now, before we do that, I want to show you a few more things. So we will not just look at the anchor chart in US dollars, right? We will also look at the anchor chart valued in Ethereum. You always want to know how does your altcoin perform relative to Ethereum because altcoins are more risky than Ethereum, so they should outperform. We will also look at anchor in terms of Bitcoin, anchor price divided by the Bitcoin price, simply because this is a very common chart to look at. So let's go back to Ethereum. This is the Ethereum chart. Obviously, we are currently pumping. Every day is green. And what I like to look at in order to gauge if we are in a bull or bear market for Ethereum are two moving averages. And that's the ones over here. In dark blue, we see the 39-day moving average. And in light blue, we see the 23-day moving average. Now, those numbers look pretty odd, right? Why do I take these strange numbers over here? Why not the 50-day moving average or anything like that? That's because of a backtest I've done a while back. So you can construct a very simple trading strategy, right? That you are outside of the market whenever the price is below a moving average. So here now we see in purple a moving average and in white the asset, so in this case Ethereum. And in gray we see here a portfolio line. So when the price is below the moving average we would sell everything. So the portfolio line is flat. Whenever the price is above the moving average then we would buy into the market. And so we follow the price movements. And so when you do this for Ethereum, when you backtest this kind of strategy, you can find out your annual performance based on your 
moving average, right? You have different moving average durations. And what you find out, the 23-day moving average and the 39-day moving average, they work the best. So here's an overview table of this. When you look at buying and holding, you would have gotten, quote unquote, only 56% per annum in Ethereum. But if you decide to actively trade according to the strategy, the 23-day moving average would have given you 166% per annum and the 39-day moving average would have given you 144% per annum. So whenever I look at Ethereum, I look at those two moving averages because statistically, historically, in the past, those two have worked the best. And so there's no guarantee that they will also continue to work well in the future. But if you do look at moving averages, these are your best bet. And so here are those two moving averages plotted. And since we crossed above those two moving averages in Ethereum, I'm bullish. By the way, we've also got a Telegram channel, a small Telegram channel. 100 people are in there. Feel free to join as well. When that cross happened, I posted that in that channel. So whenever I turn bullish or bearish, I directly post this in that channel. You can also ask your questions over there. It's a nice community. Feel free to join there. So now it looks very bullish for Ethereum, right? And since Ethereum returns are highly correlated with altcoin returns, it does make sense to now be in altcoins, to trade altcoins more or less actively. And so coming back to Anchor, we do see quite a nice move recently. Now the question is, will this continue? One thing I like to look at is the anchor to Ethereum chart, that's the one over here. And if you look at this long term, right, we didn't lose any ground against Ethereum. At the beginning, there was quite a drop, right? We got down more than 80% here, but this happened in 2019, during a time when Bitcoin dominance was going up. So investors were rather investing into Bitcoin, not so much into altcoins. Risk aversion was high, we just came out of a crash. And so anchor, just like a lot of other altcoins, did not perform very well in 2019. Now, Bitcoin dominance is sharply falling since the beginning of the year. So that's when altcoins started to pump and Bitcoin started to go just simply sideways. So when you now look at your altcoins, such as Anchor, always look at how did it perform since the beginning of the year, because that's when altcoin season started. That's when you want your altcoin to outperform. And ideally, it shouldn't only outperform Bitcoin, it should also outperform Ethereum, because Ethereum inherently is less risky. It has a higher market cap. So when you take on more risk with a smaller altcoin, you need to get properly compensated. So let's look at that. Since the beginning of the year, Anchor versus Ethereum shot up by 10x until the end of March. And if you look at the overall development since beginning of the year, we still see an outperformance of 270% approximately. So this is very bullish, right? We want to see exactly that. We want to see outperformance versus Ethereum when we do see an altcoin season. And Ethereum is trending up right now, which is good. Now is the right time to be risk on. And so Anchor obviously is somewhat risky, but we do get compensated for that risk. That's nice. Now, what's also very nice is that the recent pump over here, this 80% pump as we have established, comes without a lot of trading volume increase. And you want exactly that. You don't want to be in a market where prices are increasing and trading volume increases as well, because Trading volume means nothing else but coins moving hands quickly, right? And so when you have a lot of trading happening at elevated prices, there are a lot of new investors in the market with very short holding periods. They haven't been invested in the asset for a long time. And so investors with short holding periods, they typically also tend to sell earlier, right? If you're already in the green by say 100% and the price drops 20%, you don't really care. Psychologically, you're still in the green, you can take a bit of volatility, what takes. But if you've just invested, right, you see this nice uptrend and you have just invested a lot of trading volume, your reference price is up here and you expect the price to go higher, right? That's why you buy into a bull market. And when now this bull market, this big rally suddenly breaks, you start to panic and you start to sell. And so you have this reinforcing mechanism that when trading volume increases while prices increase, the rally tends to become less and less stable. It becomes more and more dangerous to jump on the train. And so the good news of the recent pump over here is trading volume is not high. It's not as elevated as it has been before. 
So if you are fundamentally convinced that Anchor is a good buy long term, if you support the project, if you support the team, I leave this completely up to you, then getting into Anchor right now might not be bad timing. There's not too much hype on the coin right now. And long term, we do seem to at least keep pace with Ethereum. Recently, since the beginning of the year, since this recent start of altcoin season, we have even outperformed and that's exactly what we want. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give this a like. YouTube will then rank it higher in the algorithm and the channel can grow. It's very highly appreciated. And speaking of growth, if you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as well because I publish videos at least every other day. Last but not least, as mentioned, feel free to join the Telegram channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.